Hey Capricorn and welcome back to the channel Pure Black Magic. Emphasis on the pure, the black, and the magic. If you're new here, my name is Dee. Thank you guys for taking the time to check out the channel. Hopefully you like the vibe, you like the content, and decide to hit that subscribe button. If you are returning, super, super thank you for all of your continued love and support of the channel, you guys. It is greatly appreciated. This is your July energy reading, okay? So for Capricorns, wherever you might have that in your chart, um, or cross watchers, okay? So if you're involved with the Capricorn, this is for you as well. It is general, you guys. It's not a personal reading, so please keep that in mind that it may or may not resonate with you. That's totally normal. Just take what resonates and leave what does not for the next person, okay? So we're going to start off with the Sacred Spirit Oracle deck. And my intention is to pull three cards for you guys, but let's see how many cards Spirit wants you to have. All right, so for my Capricorns, like the video, you guys. Again, subscribe, comment, I comment back. Um, honestly, the more that you interact, interact with the content on the channel, the more it puts your specific energy into these readings, into these messages. All right, let's pull one more. Um, so yeah, go ahead and interact with me, okay? So we have three cards that fell out here. The first card says light codes, okay? It says travel awaits you. All right, so some sort of forward movement. Um, travel awaits you. Like someone or something that's destined for you is waiting for you to just make the move, okay? For you to kind of get out of your own way is what I'm hearing. Um, hidden realms, we have create conscious awareness, okay? So you might not even, again, be aware of this or you just, I don't know, I don't, you might not have this idea yet or um, I feel like you have no clue. You have no clue about something that's destined for you or something that's coming up for you in the month of July. Then we have um, Galactic Healer. It says move forward with an open mind. Again, another card about you moving forward. I obviously cannot talk today. Um, so you might be feeling choked up or held up or held back is also what I'm getting because you have these cards of movement and needing to become aware of something so that you can have this forward movement, but it's like it's not there yet. Um, so maybe in the month of July, you get some sort of clarity that you need, some sort of answer or opportunity or some sort of pathway is being um, highlighted for you, illuminated for you. We have clear and activate at the bottom of the deck. It says create sacred space. Okay, so maybe um, maybe you need some alone time or you need to do whatever it is necessary for you to focus, okay? Because there's something that's meant for you, something that you're not seeing, um, something that you're, it's almost like your third eye is not open or something's right in front of your face and you don't even realize like the potential of this person or this thing, this opportunity, whatever it is for you. That's really what I'm getting. Um, hmm unexpected traveling unexpected something there's gonna be a lot happening in the month of july that's that's unexpected okay um to you hmm. move forward with an open mind okay it could be um some things happening just all of a sudden of course um abruptly i feel like you're gonna have to like think on your feet okay or you're gonna have to like respond or react to something um with a short notice is also what i'm i'm hearing short notice something is going to be short notice in the month of july for you let's see travel awaits you for my capricorns that was the four cups that almost came out but it didn't um page of pentacles okay higher fine oh and we already got something else and the queen of pentacles Oh, okay. So travel awaits you. Now this is, this is interesting energy. So the page of pentacles is very solid, very stable. Um, this is you embarking on something new, a new beginning, or you wanting to, okay. This could be anything, work, job, finances, relationship, um, study, school. Sorry, you guys, anything. Um, but it's almost as if you're about to miss the opportunity, like it's slipping right out of your hands. Again, I feel like something or someone is right in front of you, but you're not you're not taking action or you're not like you're not going for it. I don't know if you just don't realize what you have or realize what this is or you do and you're just not going towards it for some sort of reason here. OK, but we got the page of pentacles with the higher font. OK. 
So this is you, all right? I feel like you're viewing something or someone as um, something solid here. The higher font is the card of commitment, okay? It's the card of marriage, um, higher learning, spirituality, a spiritual teacher. You could be feeling, um, you could be holding back because you feel a little intimidated or insecure. Is it insignificant and adequate in regards to something, okay? Now, we have the Queen of Pentacles that came out right after the higher font. So, this is you. Now, this Page of Pentacles is your energy. It's Earth energy, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. You could be dealing with another Earth sign, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. Um, but this is you wanting to take some sort of leap of faith. This is you as admiring, wanting some sort of commitment, something long term. I feel like with this Queen of Pentacles, whoever, whatever this is for you. But again, it all, it's almost as if you don't feel like you're enough or you're not ready or you're inadequate because the page to a queen is like, it's like, whoa. So maybe you're feeling intimidated by something or someone. Then we got the page of wands at the bottom of the deck here. Um, so messages, a lot of messages. Okay, maybe you're seeking advice or some of you, I just heard you're waiting on the green light. I feel like the green light has been here. You're just not taking it. Okay, and it's a lot of green in these photos too. Um, hmm. All right, let's see. So, wow. Okay, Capricorn. I really feel like maybe this person or this situation um, makes you nervous. Somebody makes you nervous or some, it makes you question yourself. Now I'm seeing the two of pentacles right here. Knight of pentacles. It's a lot of earth energy. So you could be a Capricorn that's just very like stuck in your ways or just very like it takes a lot for you to kind of commit or move towards something here. Um, you're trying to debate, you're constantly going back and forth in your head as to if you should move forward towards someone or towards something here. Okay. Some of you, um, are afraid of rejection because I see the two of swords here and nine of wands. It's almost as if you're scared of this. If you are aware of whatever this is that will, that looks like it's good for you, it's almost as if you're, um, you're scared of it or you're intimidated by it. Okay. That's why you're not making any taking any action towards it two of cups what what did i just say two of cups okay so this is clarifying create conscious awareness two of cups is that's that connection that's that relationship um i really feel like it is romantic it does not have to be but this is someone you view as the, on the same page with you someone possibly you fantasize about you can see a life with or some sort of collaboration with okay um hidden rims i feel like you're hiding your feelings from this person or you're you're hiding something from this i can't make this up y'all four swords you're hiding you're not saying anything you're holding back okay you got your arms folded all right six of cups this could be someone um you have a, a history with someone from your past maybe someone you've been with before maybe not okay maybe it wasn't official let's pull one more card it's like you're holding back from this connection this relationship or this, whatever this is, this commitment, um, I'm really picking up on like studies or schooling or something like that, um, a higher position for some of you guys. But look, you got the, you got the Ten of Cups. All right, so this person makes you happy. Again, I feel like you fantasize a lot about this person or whatever this is, this opportunity. You think about it a lot. You think about how it could work out, how it makes you happy. Um, the Ten of Cups with the Two of Cups is giving me the Three of Cups. That's all about celebrations and reconciliation. So maybe you want to like, maybe you want to make amends with someone. Maybe you want a second chance with someone. Six of Swords, you want to come out of um, the dark in the situation here. Nine of Pentacles, okay? You could be, it's another Earth sign here. Nine of Pentacles and the Four of Wands, you want a relationship, all right, or you want some sort of um, interaction, some sort of working together with this person. I feel like they are single. Um, I feel like a lot of you guys are afraid of fucking up. I'm going to just say it. It's like you're afraid of messing this up again, scared, intimidated by whatever this is, holding yourself back. What is move forward with an open mind? This is encouraging you to kind of get out of that energy. Um, get, up, get more out of your um your logic mind okay and just kind of move with your intuition go with what you feel is what i'm hearing here go with what you feel yep all right so let's see move forward we have the moon card we have the empress we have the magician and we have the hangman what the hell 
Okay, so the moon card energy, I feel like this is the fear again. Let me show you guys. So the moon card with the empress. I feel like this is that fear of um, whatever, okay? The fear of the unknown or maybe you just don't know. That's the thing. You just don't know if it's going to work out or not or how it's going to work out or not. There's fear surrounding this. And then you have the empress. You're intimidated. This person is the empress. Libra Taurus energy does not have to be. Um, this could be some sort of mother figure, okay, or motherly nurturing figure as well, or just someone you view as very beautiful, abundant, someone you view as having it all. Um, and I feel like you're intimidated or flip the energies how you see fit. Okay. This could be someone feeling this way towards you. This could be why somebody is not really making the move that you want them to make. We have the magician here with the hangman. They came after the empress. So this is what you're doing. You're manifesting yourself to stay stuck in this place here. Okay. Um, but it's telling you to move forward with an open mind. At the bottom of the deck, we got the damn nine of cups. This is wish fulfillment. It's almost like make a wish, okay? Like this is your wish come true. This is something um, that you really want here. But we have the eight of cups behind that and the three of pentacles. But you have doubts about this working out, okay? Seven of cups. It's like you don't understand the how and the whys. And then you have this fear. And then you're intimidating. And you don't think you can do it. It's like, bro, or sis, it's like just do it, okay? Hostility is at the bottom of the deck. I feel like internally like you are just fighting yourself that's what it is or you're fighting yeah you're fighting yourself you're fighting the want to go after this okay um i almost want to say the need to go after this it feels very strong now i'm seeing the sun card it could be a leo virgo um for you guys but something that potentially has a lot of potential to make you happy or makes you very happy already the damn goddess of the moon the same thing as the Empress, pretty much. Like, you very much so think highly of this person. Um, you just feel like this is it. Like, this is the person. Or this is someone that maybe everybody wants. Or, I don't know. I feel like maybe there's some work you need to do within yourself. Um, because you don't feel good enough for this opportunity or this person. Whatever this goddess of the moon is for you. But I also feel like this is telling you that you need to reach for your full potential in regards to whatever this is for you. Let's see if we can pull two more cards for my Capricorns. All right. Garden in the gate. Every, damn, Capricorn. The whole reading is repeating itself. Garden in the gate. This is you holding yourself back. Okay. So your happiness or this opportunity, a person is right on the opposite side of the gate. But you are holding yourself back. Let's get one more card. Let's see. Anxiety. All right. I'm I'm gonna just I'm gonna stop the reading because this is everything I've been saying. You think it's too much about it, you're anxious. Is it gonna work? Is it not gonna work? Is it for me? Is it not? Are they gonna turn me down? Are they gonna like me? Am I gonna fuck it up? Door to spirit is letting you know at the bottom of the deck the door is open. Now, if you want to walk through it or not, that's up to you. Okay, so I'm going to leave it here, Capricorn. Um, if this is your message, please leave me a comment below letting me know how. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel, you guys. And I will see you next time.